problem with the arpeggios that I heard before. And I understand you haven't fixed it yet, but you're not working on fixing it. You're just trying to play it as pretty as you can and in tune, and it sounds smooth and beautiful, but you're not practicing it. There's a difference between playing something real pretty and smooth and wrong and actually playing it ugly and practicing it. I want you to play it ugly while you're practicing it. I mean, if the shift is smooth, it doesn't matter what it sounds like. First, you have to get the shift smooth without stopping the bow. Then you can make it sound pretty. If you make it sound pretty before you learn how to do it, then it'll sound just as bad when you try to learn to do it the right way. Do you understand? This is a complete waste of your time to do it like that. You're playing it pretty. You are not learning how to do it without stopping. And that's what Eugene has asked you to do for the last two years. Stop playing it pretty. Learn how to shift while your bow is moving. Yes, it's very hard. And no, it's not going to sound nice for a long time. And then one day, it's going to sound amazing. Because you will learn to shift without changing the bow. And that is what this exercise is about. This exercise is not about playing an arpeggio in June. That is the last step of this exercise. If you want to learn how to play an arpeggio in tune, don't slur it. Play separate bows if you need to work on the tune. Work on the shift. Can I hear it again? And I believe Marsha has told you how to work on this at least three times. And so has Eugene. And I have yet to hear you do it when you're not working your bow. Yeah.
here at this
I'm texting Marsha. Can you? <laughs> it's Marsha. You please send me the. Check twenty seven if you you please send me the your email. If you itch symbols question mark question mark can you send blah 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 okay so then I can print it up.
my bone is right there and it goes like right there my shoulder rest the hard part is like hitting right there <laughs> And also right there. That's my chin rest. Oh, my violin is sitting right here, so I'm going to move my shoulders. Don't worry, I have a little towel right here. I could untighten my towel, but I guess see how it is. It still has the freaking happened again. <laughs> Do I really have to just clean it every day? Just hit this. It vibrates. It kind of wobbles from side to side like that. Which probably isn't good. side of my life. Either this or this is hitting me and it's making me have a rash. Either right here or right here. And I don't think, and I think that's why I didn't have my violin on my neck before because it always gave me like little, since I have so bony there, that makes any sense. And my shoulder rest just fell off, so that means it's not tight. Super glue get right there. It didn't. It's not moving. Oh well. I'm trying to fix this. Very sorry about this, but it is just my feeling. This needs to be higher. Even if I just hit any tap part of my violin, I'm done. It might mess up again. So it's very annoying. And this is a sour chow, I don't really like it. I'm 
still happens if I'm holding the string down. It hurts right here. It hurts. Mostly hurts right there. Because that's the end of my jawbone. And it like hits right there so it like tries to break my bone. It's very annoying. the roll curl on it, but I don't think very much. It still hurts. And it slides off. That's why there's a huge gap right there. Like I can do that and then it's still. shoulder and that's why I raised my shoulder. If that makes any sense. Not at all. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, it hurts. Yes, just let me know when you get it. What? Ow. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I got it. I just checked. Okay. I got Okay, I got it. <laughs> Great.
one of my YouTube videos, like, in, when it says restrictions, there's, like, a copyright claim thing on some of them, which I think actually with this video. I don't care at all. Then take a ticket and 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 take a ticket and
that and that and my hair is right there and this one's kind of red Jeez, we need to go to the because it's way too far down, I think. It still has the butt, so I'll just go a little down.
E string except for on the That's actually kind of cool. The E and the G have the longest things. <laughs>
this thing I can't really see. But the things right here, the things oh gosh. It's hard to see in this kind of lighting. But the pegs push down the little things like on the piano. And if you see it's a right angle, you can see that the G one is all the way like almost touching the other. So violin one. Goodbye, I'm gonna start a new video that's gonna be 12 minutes long. So be on that. I'm back. It didn't pause. Look out the window and I see my horse just being like, he's running in circles. Of course, it's the baby. This trot is actually very good. Without wrist, if I'm on, ah, hopefully. Oh, I think it's his, um, Sean's riding.
So it actually looks really nice over here. But I'm gonna finish. I'm not trying to make it look junky over here. Oh, the bells, and then we put some off of my hair and some orange blossom special. Just gonna go through all of it and then I get a stick of water. Okay. 
some of the stuff. It's good I figured out the hidden the shoulder. Thank you for watching. See you another time. Goodbye.